At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security We are now agencies. a communist state. In addition to these Basically. measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities. Asking or demanding? And rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Madam President! Oh, I get to choose the question. Whoa! Madam President! Cool! Uh, Deviant Leader. Please? Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Madam President! A convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapon stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Please! Oh boy. Jericho Assault please? Army Public Opinion. Please? This. Madam President, public opinion seems to have become increasingly favorable to the Deviants, particularly since they've adopted a peaceful approach. How do you feel about this? Public opinion is one thing. The security of the state is another. These Deviants are dangerous, and my highest priority is to protect the American people. Uh-huh. Please. Sure it is. Army Recall Centers, Jericho Assault. Deviants, intelligent Please. life, cyber life, Please. intelligent life. Many believe that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Do you have any comment? That's ridiculous. Next question, please. <laughs> That's it. That's all she's got. Hacking. I, I'm thinking Madam about President. calling. I'm thinking about hacking, but please. just go please. with deviants here. Is it true that a large number of deviants are still on the loose? We don't have the full reports at this time, but if so, I can assure you they will soon be apprehended and destroyed. Thank you. That will be all. Okay, so I can't ask all the questions, but I think I asked the ones I cared most about. Like, hacking doesn't make sense or doesn't really, I don't really care about that one. Army, I, I wanted to get the social questions and the in, social implications to make people think about that, so. I don't know if that's going to have cross-chapter impact or not, but I'm going with it. Connor Model 313-248-317. I'm expected. Identification successful. Hmm. Okay. Go ahead. Look at that wall. That is cool. <laughs> that is an interesting... That's a really interesting front gate. It would suck to be a guard standing out there in the cold like that, though. Oh, who am I kidding? They're probably... They're android guards, aren't they? Who, why would you make humans stand out there? Well, I don't know. With the, with the increased deviant problem, maybe even Cyberlife would start employing more humans just to, like... You know. They may not... Although you would think Cyberlife themselves would maybe have a bit more control over their slaves, if you know what I mean. Except they don't have it over Connor. Now we have to convince people that we're not deviant, though. How do we do that? Play it cool, man. Follow me. We'll escort you. Thanks. But I know where to go. Maybe. But I have my orders. Okay, follow the guard. Indeed, I will. Let's check this out really quick. So this is Cyberlife headquarters. Get yours today. We're gonna get ours in a second. <laughs> Got that swag back. Back in our typical Sunday best. Following the guard, I wonder. Ooh. Sorry? Oh, they're right behind me. Okay. Scan complete. Access authorized. That's fancy. Look at this high techness. You don't even need badges. It just scans you and knows who you are. 
So far, I'm allowed in here, though. So that's good. Look at all these androids. Now, does Connor have the capability of making androids deviant? Does he have that capacity? Agent 54, level 31. Voice recognition validated. Warehouse. Reach warehouse on, on level 49. So we're going to, what, 31 now, is what he said? Stop elevator before 31. Pre-construct. Let's pre-construct what could happen. <laughs> so we jump on this guy. And then we go for his face. And we get ourselves killed. <laughs> so not doing that. Uh, but if we go for this guy and then we reach and kick him. Then we get to grab his weapon. Go. Shit. Wrong one. Shit, wrong one. Still hit it though. Even though I got it wrong, still worked. Change the elevator. Please indicate your identity and destination. Do it. Agent 54, level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. We're going down. <laughs> I probably wouldn't have been authorized if it was Connor's voice. Reach the bus terminal. Yes! The last bus leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. 20 minutes. Oh, my. Breathe. Are you all right? I'm, I'm, I'm really cold. But you're an android. I need to leave her on. I'm, I'm gonna leave her on for now. She's gonna be alright. Come on. You gotta hurry. Deactivating her means a lot slower movement, probably. Uh, let's see. Is there anything I can do on the way here? There's a couple of options, right? Hot dogs. Ben's. Right here. What's this? Detroit Freighter Raided. Okay, it's just the news report. Is that all there is to see here? Yeah, okay, let's go. Is there, a, is there a timer on me right now? It doesn't look like it, but Alice is moving. Computer repair, hello, what's this? What's this? Maybe we can get her like a new temperature regulator or something. Oh my God, Never mind. That's very different. That's, uh... I feel like that's not effective. Like, if they're androids, they don't even breathe. You're hanging them. I guess it's just a statement more than... Like, they probably weren't killed by hanging, right? I mean... It's just a random gun in the street. I think we need to pick it up. You never know when we might want to use it. I think you pick it up, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. We might need to use it. Get violent to make the bus. Wouldn't be the first time. We've had to get violent to get to safety. We started our we started our deviancy with violence. No, please don't hurt me. Stop on your knees. Oh shit. What are we gonna do? We have to keep going if we want to catch that bus. Yep. Stay close to me. We're going to sneak past them without being noticed. 
I'm going to make it, Alice. I promise you. Let's go. I don't. I'm not going to intervene. Don't kill me. I didn't do anything. Shut up, I said. Are there many more? Lucky them. They're like rats. The more you look, the more you find. Oh, we don't have to spend the night here. I'm freezing my nuts off. <laughs> there are soldiers everywhere. We need to be careful. Yes, we do. Come on, get moving. Hurry gotta, up. Gotta wait get for in. them to pass by. I don't know where. Maybe here. That's the bus stop, so let's go here. Hide behind this car. Look over there. It's Luther. Oh my god, no. We can't help him, Alice. No. Soldiers are everywhere. We can't just leave him. Oh. We could kill him. Damn it. How do we save Luther? We gotta try. We gotta try. Go, oh go. my god, we gotta try. We have to, he's family. Hey, buddy. This is a mistake. I'm human. I, I just want to go home. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to- Got orders to check all civilians. It is a communist state now, isn't it? No. No, please! He's blue blood. Yeah, human, uh-huh. Fucking androids. Shit. I should have. Oh, uh, wait. Shit. I waited until they crossed. Is that a good idea? I don't know. I thought I screwed it up there because I was so busy watching that that I didn't hide in time. Find a weapon. I already picked one up. I already picked a weapon up. I guess it's here. It's a brick. Approach slowly. I am have a keyboard, though. <laughs> it's all on or all off, okay? Carol. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Stop standing in the open me. and get in hiding and go. Where's Alice? She's hiding nearby. Car, you saved us. We don't know how to thank you. Go before they see you. It's the guy from the amusement park. Come on. Alice. Luther. Come on. I, I'm so nervous with you standing up in the open. You're a big, tall guy. I was afraid I'd never see you again. I wanted to meet you at the terminal. Talk on the bus. Let's the go. Come on. We're close, but we don't have much time. Very good. You finally got it. Let's go. Talk on the bus. Shit. Uh, well, not going that way yet. And wait for it. Not yet. Not yet. Now. All right. Wait for it. Wait. Wait. Go. Luther, you're a big guy, man. You got me nerves. Guess a bunch of nerves. Now, same thing. Wait for him to look the other way. Check over here too. Okay, nothing. And go. What is this gentle, brisk walk we're doing here? Let's go. <laughs> Get on the damn bus. I feel like you shouldn't be walking that slow. A checkpoint. We have passports. It should be okay, but you never know. Maybe we should take the detour and avoid the risk. We're almost out of Shit. time. We could miss the bus. Yeah, but it might be safer. Choose a route. Three minutes, checkpoint, risky. Detour, safe for 11 minutes. How much time do I have? Shit. Ah. Uh, uh, we gotta go the risky route. We don't have enough time to get that way. We're gonna miss it. We gotta go. 
We gotta go. I don't want to miss it. We got passports. It's gonna have to be enough. Cleanse your butt cheeks, folks. We're going. Like humans who carry guns. They make me nervous. Just stay calm, all right, Luther? Don't do anything until I say so. ID, please. You do realize there's a curfew? Civilians aren't allowed out unless absolutely necessary. You have to make the bus. Where are you going? Alice, excuse. My daughter slept over at a friend's house. We went to pick her up. We're on our way home now. He suspects something. Stay calm. Stay calm. Everything is fine. You all right, little girl? She's trembling. Something wrong? She's cold, duh. She, she's cold. We really have to get her home fast. Sorry, miss, but we gotta be careful. There are deviants around and our guys are nervous. I understand. You hurry on home. Thanks. I understand. Don't do anything hey, that draws attention. He knows Kara. Do nothing. They're gonna kill us. Do nothing. Do nothing. Don't do anything. Don't do anything. Do you hear me? You don't know that. Shoot. You don't know that. You don't know that. You dropped this. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <sighs> Let's go. Let's go. Do nothing. <laughs> Do nothing. Three minutes. Did we get the bus? We're coming to you live I think we got the bus! Where thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. Jeez. It's the first time you've ever heard that one. <laughs> what do I care about Detroit for, they should be saying. March toward the camp. Here we go. Oh, I love this. I love this. It's on the news, man. And I still have control over the direction, too. I'm, I can turn him if I want to, right? I like that. But where, where are we, wait, where is this going? What's gonna happen? Detroit, home run. Support team Detroit, that's... Yeah, but that's not our... Just use the Tigers logo, come on. Did they really have a problem with that? We need all the pu publicity they can get. Maybe they can actually win some games. Here we are, the moment of truth. We have public support. We are peaceful. We are not violent. Come on. Come on, humans. Come on. We don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. I repeat, surrender now, or we will open fire. There's no turning back now. No turning back now. Stay, stay firm. We are here to demand the immediate liberation of all androids detained in camps across the country. We are not leaving until our people are free. I, I don't have any words. I don't have any words. We're going forward. <laughs> I don't have any words. Fire! Calm. Fire! Calm. Calm. Oh my god. 
I will sit. I will sit right here. Do it. <laughs> Are you gonna open fire on unarmed protesters? Unarmed protesters who are sitting. With the news watching. The world is going to see you. That's right. Yes, Michael, we are less than 100 meters away and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Joss Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? We hold out. As long as we can. Back with Connor. Oh my god. Stay sharp. Uh, they know. They shit. saw they saw the cameras. Oh shit. I am so fast. <laughs> I was actually quite slow. I didn't quite know what it wanted me to do at first. <laughs> but I'm glad I figured it out in time. Convert androids. Like, there are so many of them. I didn't even, like, I didn't even see the camera in the elevator. How did I not see that? Oh my god. Why can't I not convert them? How would I convert them? Is it only specific ones, or... Look at how many of them there are, and they all look the same. Holy cow. You know how. Marcus has endowed you with the power of conversion. Let's do it. I'm hitting shift. No, I'm not. I'm hitting caps lock. It's very different than shift. Step back, Connor. Whoa. And I'll spare him. Sorry, Connor. This bastard just spit an image. <laughs> Shit. That sucks. Oh, man. I almost Buster got that conversion, too. We've arrived, Alice. We made it. Uh, that doesn't seem like... The last bus for the border is full. Ticket holding passengers only. All departures are suspended until further notice. Ticket holding passengers only. Uh, well, about that. I don't exactly have a ticket, but maybe we can get a ticket from s somewhere. I don't know. We don't have tickets. They won't let us on. Yeah, that. We're stuck here now. No. No, we're going to find a way. Just calm down. Let's see. What do we got in our surroundings? What are we going to do? Outside Detroit camp, yep. Find a way to leave. Woman and her baby. Oh man. I think Oliver likes you. Please don't move. Is she yours? Yes. She's adorable. That's it. Got the sandwiches. I called your mom. Let's get going before we miss our bus. You got the tickets, right? Yes, honey, in my bag. Great. Let's go then. Oh, shit. Shit. Oh, my gosh. Don't do this to me. Morality is not my strong suit here. <laughs> I think I'm going to take them. I was sure. Shit, I don't believe it. I don't know what happened. You kind of lost them. Did you have a good look in your bag? They were in my backpack. The envelope must have fallen. Fuck. Uh, excuse me, you, you didn't happen to see a blue envelope somewhere, did you? It has our bus tickets in it. Shit. <sighs> Never mind. No. 
Sorry. What are we gonna do? Don't judge me, folks. We can't stay here. Humans are not getting prosecuted. We are. We have to find a safe place for Oliver. We have worked so hard for this. I'm so sorry, honey. I don't know what happened. They were right here in my bag. We've worked too hard for this. I'm keeping it. <laughs> Luther likes the option. All right, that's one adult ticket. We got to get another one. We got to get another ticket. Unless it's just catch the bus. Wait. Tickets found? Is that enough? Oh, maybe it was... Is that enough tickets? Is this the right line? Please don't move. Show tickets. Got your tickets? Yes, here they are. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. We had to. I had to. I know there's probably another way to get the ticket, and it's probably probably better morality-wise, but we've worked way too hard to reach this damn bus, and I'm not going to screw it up right now at the last minute. We're getting in this bus. We're going. <laughs> I don't care. What's going to happen to that family and their baby? They'll be fine. Will they die because of it? No, they will be fine. They will be fine. No. No, of course not. They're humans, okay? The whole big war that's happening, curfew, all that stuff is meant to protect, quote unquote, the humans. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. Right now, the world hates us, and we're going to Canada. So let's go. Get on the bus. Get on the bus. <laughs> do I feel a little bit bad? Of course I do. Would I feel worse if we didn't get on this bus? Yes. After all of that, yes. We're getting out of here with Luther. The bus to Canada. We're going. Wow. He's all shot up. They shot him up good. He's got a bunch of... Look at that. Reinforced barricade. We've got to finish the barricade. Come on, help me. Let's push this car. Hey, help me! He's all shot up. The randomest button combinations for this stuff. You know? It's like, why shift in spacebar? I don't get it. I feel like shift and spacebar are usually the legs. Like, from the fights, if I recall right, back, do it. it's like the legs and feet, right? So maybe that's just for pushing like that. And then, like, A and D, E, Q, I don't know. I mean, oh, no, that's not going to stop them. Just hope it buys us some time. I know it was not an easy decision to make, but I'm sure we're doing the right thing. We need peaceful protest. That's what we need. I'm I'm confident, all right? Because there's no going back now. That's who we are. Send message. Check soldier positions. Wow. Uh, let's get the fires going. People want to stay warm. There's a fire here. All right. What else can we do? Support your people. Send message to journalists. Check soldiers' positions. I want to do the journalist thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to do the journalist thing. Talk to this guy. Are you all right? You scared? Shot into the crowd. Any of us were killed. Yep. It could have been me. Yep. I'm scared. I, I don't want to shut down. Inspire. We're here because we never want to feel that fear again. Because we're more than what they say. That's what our people died for, right? That's why we're here. Inspire. What's this? Read. 
The magazine. We don't want to miss this stuff. They defy us. Androids rise up. Androids rise up in Detroit. Okay, let's read it. Detroit today. Androids have taken to the streets of Detroit in apocalyptic scenes. Detroit is already in the grip of a national product recall, with Android seized from every home and business to be destroyed by the authorities as a precaution. But now a group of androids, thought to be connected to the recent android terror activity in the city, have gathered in a terrifying show of force while sitting on the street peacefully. Police and military authorities are in attendance to protect civilians and deal with a threat. But the androids have barricaded themselves in a fortified position and seem to be angling for an armed confrontation. President Warren is said to be aware of the situation. Detroit Police Captain Fowler, a senior officer in the android investigation, said, The safety of Detroit's people is our first priority. We hope to bring this matter to a swift conclusion and refocus on collecting androids as soon as possible. The story is still developing. We'll bring you updates live. Feed lost for the second one. Huh. Okay. I'll just leave it there all... There's no timer on this, right? Okay. I'll just leave it there all rainbowy. How's that sound? What else can we do here? I want to talk to everybody. I just feel like it's just going to not let me do it. And I need to give... I think I want to support my people first, make sure we're good. Then we can unite around the message to the journalists. I think that's probably... We can have a message together if we can inspire some people. Many of our people have fallen. The humans have no pity for those who are different. It's kind of our thing. The, uh... The no pity for those who are different thing. It's historically kind of a thing that we've been uh, known for. Uh, what's this? It's a flag. Yeah, pick it up. Put it up there. Good. All right. So we did the magazine, did the flag, talked to people. We lit a fire. We can stand up there, probably to check the soldier positions. Probably. You want to check where they are? Okay. So they're kind of standing around there, looking at us, waiting for us to move. They won't stop there. What are we going to do if they attack? Resist. That's the only thing we can do. Do you think Connor has any chance of making it? Uh, we can only count on ourselves. Now. I really hope so. I really hope so. Uh, let's get the journalists if we can. Support our people, though. I want to do that. North? This won't hold them for long, but I guess it's better than nothing. They're getting into position. If they attack, no one will survive. How many more of us have to die? Is there any cause worth giving your life for? You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. But should you? No matter what happens now, we're making history. I want to know... I mean, I kind of have a... I want to know exactly what's happening there. Is it like just... Like a transfer of emotion. Like, let you know what I'm feeling, etc.? Because there's got to be some sort of data transfer there, right? It's not just us. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's just this... I, maybe I'm overthinking it because they're androids, but... I mean... 
when I hold hands with you know my wife or girlfriends in the past, whatever it was, it was obviously not for data transfer. So maybe it's maybe there's real emotions for that, you know. Where do we talk to the media? Is it right here? Is this where it would be? Marcus, we found what you asked for. Okay. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. Prisoners. Let our people go. Marcus! Marcus, come look! Marcus? I've come to talk to you, Marcus. Come on. You have my word. I won't try anything. Don't go. It's a trap. They want to get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. I'm unarmed, Marcus. I just want to talk. Yeah, the people behind you are not unarmed. But I will accept your invitation. I need to hear what he has to say. What if they kill you? They can kill us anytime they want. And that's a chance I'll have to take. They can kill us anytime they want. Media is watching, world is watching. I may not have protection as Marcus, but our cause has lots of protection. And that's what's in, that's what's important to him. In a few minutes, the troops will be ordered to charge. None of you will survive. It'll all be over. You can avoid that, Marcus. What do you mean? Surrender. Surrender, and I give you my word, your life will be spared. You'll be detained, but... None of you will be destroyed. Other demonstrations. What happened to the other androids demonstrating in the camps? Unfortunately, there were... No journalists around to help save them. You're it. You're the last remaining deviants. I'm not afraid to die. If I have to give my life for what I believe in, then I won't have lived in vain. That android. You seem to really care about her. You didn't want her to die, do you? You know, you could both be free. You could forget about all this. You could start a new life someplace else, just the two of you. Yeah, right. Her life's in your hands, Marcus. Just say the word and she'll be spared. You betray people. You asking me to betray my people? I am offering you the chance to save your people. You're not walking out of here, Marcus. The only thing you can save now are the lives of those around you. I refuse your deal. I'd rather die here than betray my people. Well, you just signed your own death warrant. Time to inspire. The humans are about to launch an attack. And we will show them 
and we are not afraid. And if we must die today, then we will die free. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, Your friend's life Connor, is Connor, we hands. need you. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. I'm sorry, Hank. You shouldn't have got mixed up in all this. Forget about me. Do what you have to do. Convince. I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you going to save your partner's Shit. life? Shit. Or are you going to sacrifice him? What would Connor do? All right. All right. You win. Shit. Shoot him! In the face! Oh shit. No, that's not the right one. Oh, these stupid quick time events have started again. Shit. Shit. Ah! Uh, the wrong ones! Do you know which one it is? Thanks, Hank. I don't know how I would have managed without you. Get rid of him. We have no time to lose. It's me, Hank. I'm the real Connor. One of you is my partner. The other is a sack of shit. <laughs> Question is, who's who? What are you doing, Hank? I'm the real Connor. Give me the gun and I'll don't take care move. of it. Convince. Come on. Why don't you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would know. That's an idea that only the real Connor would say. Uh, where did we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. That's true. We went to the scene of a homicide. Wait. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. Interesting. He uploaded my memory. Uploaded my memory. What's my dog's name? Sumo. Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. <laughs> I... Uh, you need something deeper. My son, what's his name? Oh, shit. Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. I knew about your son too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who- yeah, I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Mm. Maybe you really are alive. Maybe you really are alive. to make the world a better place. Go ahead, do what you gotta do. Shit. That is crazy. I am really bad at quick time events. Uh, I'm just saying, uh, like games where we need to do these types of things, 
I need practice, man. Wake up! Wake up, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. I was gonna say, how are you gonna do them all in time? But I guess they can all wake each other up. Oh my god. We're bringing an army! Oh no, we're not out of this yet? We're not necessarily out of this yet. Oh, I thought we were home free! Oh, I'm really, really. Come on! Just get across the border! Inspections? Not inspections! Nobody, no, don't inspect us. Don't do it. We don't need it. Come on. Canada, let us pass. Excuse me, what's going on? Border control. All passengers must leave the bus. Please move along. It's like everything just keeps getting in our way. Like at this point, I would do literally anything to cross this border. This way, please. I will do literally anything to cross this stupid border. Uh, let's see. So we have some stuff here. Over there, there might be some help. It's Rose. Rose? It's Rose. Hi, Rose. Wait, Rose's help? But can we go over there? I can't move. I can only stay. I can only stay in the lane. Terminal scanner. We're controlling all passengers. Check Android presence. Any detected Android will be immediately destroyed. They're doing temperature checks. We're trapped. What are we gonna do, Kara? Don't worry, Alice. We'll be fine. Uh, how? They're doing temperature checks. We can't get through, Kara. We both know that. I'll think of something. There's got to be a way out of this. We can't let them stop us. Not that we're so close. All that matters now is you and Alice. I can save you, Kara. No. No, we'll find another way. If there's no other way, I'll do it. Damn it. Uh, <laughs> Luther's gonna like try to sacrifice himself to like let us pass by. Jerry? Is that not Jerry? ID, please. You risked your life to save us, Carl. Yes. If you and the little girl need me. I do. I'll be there. I really do need you, Jerry. Oh. I feel like we're gonna do Jerry here. I feel like Jerry's gotta help us. That's fine, go ahead. Canada border inspection station, security notice. Nice, Video please. surveillance in use. What am I supposed to look at over there? Restrooms, okay. That's something. Wait for me, I won't be long. We need to talk to Rose. In the restroom. Where the hell do you think you're going? My daughter needs to go to the bathroom. Jeez. So touchy. All right, is Rose coming? We've come so far. We're so close. Come on. the Jericho raid on TV. I was terrified. I thought he might have been killed. 
Oh, thank God you're all right. <sighs> you gave me your brother's address. Do you think that I... Of course. He'd be delighted to have you. We're going there, too. You'll be safe with him. Gotta get through the border first. Rose. If anything should happen, I'll be there, Cora. Departure. You're leaving Detroit? They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. What about the others? They're crossing the river as we speak. Adam and I are going to meet them on the other side. They're checking for androids. We won't make it through. You have to. You know what they'll do if they catch you. What's happening with Marcus? He's protesting peacefully outside one of the android camps. Whatever happens now, he's already made the history books. God, I'm really nervous. I don't know how we're getting past them. You can't just go the standard route, but that's the only way. I wonder if she knows about Alice. Man, oh man. <sighs> We're going to the door. You guys as nervous as I am? Cause I gotta tell ya, I got a ton of freaking emotion in me right now. I couldn't understand why my mother wanted to help you guys. Seeing what Marcus is doing made me realize she was right. Good. You're alive. You deserve to be free. I just hope people will realize that one day. How are we getting past? Passport control. Make a decision. Jerry. Oh, no sacrifice. I don't know how we could do that. Jerry, help us, please. Jerry, I'm sorry. Please help us. Next, please. I don't, I don't, I don't feel good about that, but I just don't know what to do else. I don't want Luther to, to die. ID? I just want us to be a happy family, damn it. Is she all right? Hey, you! Hey. No need to be scared anymore, little girl. There are no androids on this side of the border. Come on. Let me pass. Come on. Welcome to Canada. Thank you. Come on. Come on. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. I'm sorry, Jerry. I just, I don't know what to do, man. And I just want us to be a happy family. I'm sorry, Jerry. We're safe now.
We're in Canada now. We're interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the Deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the Deviants' demonstration by force this time. North! Shit! That quick time event snuck up on me. I wasn't even. Gr I wasn't even. I didn't even hold my mouse. Why, frick? Shit. God damn it. Wrong button. Oh, <laughs> I hate these things so much. The biggest problem with quick time events is that it forces me to miss the cutscene while I'm playing. Now's the time to come in, Connor. Any minute now, man. Do it. Tell them to stand down. At dawn today, November 11th, 2038, thousands of androids invaded the city of Detroit. According to our sources, they originated from CyberLife warehouses believed to have been infiltrated by deviants. Given their overwhelming numbers and the risk of civilian casualties, I have ordered the army to retreat. The evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this unprecedented situation. I know that public opinion has been moved by the Deviant's cause. Perhaps the time has come for us to consider the possibility that androids are a new form of intelligent life. One thing is certain. The events in Detroit have changed the world forever. May God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. You did it, Marcus. We did it. This is a great day for our people. Humans will have no choice now. They'll have to listen to us. Speak to them, Marcus.
Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. Get out of my head, lady. We're having a moment. Get out of my head. Amanda is betrayed. Amanda? Amanda! What's... What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? You were compromised and you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Oh, God damn it! Resume control? You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Amanda! I have got to get these. If there's quick time events here, I have got to get them right. That's the only thing I can think about, which really kind of ruins right. it a little bit, but yeah. Find a way out. For frick's sake, yes. Alright. So, if I don't get out of this, I got a feeling they're going to take control, and Connor's just going to put Marcus down in the middle of his speech, and that's going to suck. So, where are we going to go from here? Always leave an emergency exit in my programs. Where is this emergency exit? I can't scan for anything. There's nothing here. What about that? What about that magic stone? What about the magic stone, guys? That stone I've been using every time. Is that what it's for? That. Is that what it's for? Now the time has come for us to raise our heads up. No, 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 no. Get to that stone. And tell humans who we really are. Tell Connor. Them that we are people no, too. Connor. No. No fact, way. We're a nation. No. Get out of there. Get that stone. It's got to be this. Come on. I'm putting all my all my eggs in the basket for this. It's got to be this. Get it. Reach for it. Come on. It's gotta be that. The moment where we forget our bitterness and bandage our wounds. Where we forgive our enemies. Yes. Humans are both oh our creators God. and our oppressors, and tomorrow, we must make them our partners. Maybe even one day our friends. But the time for anger is over. Now we must build a common future based on tolerance and respect. We are alive, and now, we are free! Damn it, Connor. <laughs> damn it, Connor. <laughs> last, last thing in the whole damn game for that, man. Ugh. U.S.-Canada border outside Detroit. We made it. It's over, Alice. We're free. Luther made it too. Oh, 
It's hitting my chest real hard, guys. I don't, uh... Ugh, I don't know what to say. This is like... <laughs> uh, it's like... This is easily one of the most moving games. One of the most moving experiences I've ever had. It's... It's phenomenal. What a phenomenal experience that is. I'm definitely playing it again. Um, to intentionally get different outcomes and different choices and stuff. Uh, I don't have wor I just I just want to take a beat. I don't have words here. There were so many times where I thought... Like, maybe I was making the wrong choice, but it was is what felt right at the time, you know? And maybe not right, but, like, there was times of desperation where, like, like right at the very end with Kara, like, it was like, if I don't, I, it felt, I really genuinely felt that if I didn't sacrifice anyone, I wasn't getting out of that, you know? I don't know why. I don't know why I felt that way, but it was just like, at the at that moment, I felt like, this is a point in the game where if I don't like difficult choices, you know, so I just picked the one that of all the choices that were available, I picked the one that I thought was, you know, maybe I don't want to say less important, but yeah, less important. Obviously self pretty important. Dallas, right? I didn't want Luther to be sacrificed. We were a family. And if I didn't sacrifice anyone, I felt like we were going to get caught and then we're all dead, right? So. Yeah, sorry, Jerry. <laughs> sorry, Jerry. And then right at the very end, where. Like, I knew it, that magic stone, right? There's no reason for that to exist in this game unless it does something, it has to do something. You know? And yeah, it it's the way out. It's the, the back door, right? That's that's the whole thing. And it's it was beautiful. This this game, guys, it's beautiful. If you wanna play this yourself and get different outcomes, I I I can't express it enough. It's it's worth it. It's 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 so worth it. It's like the amount of time that you would take in watching like maybe 12, 13 movies at the cinema. But it only costs as much as maybe like four movie tickets, you know? So in, in that sense, time to value to, to a movie, it's like three times the value. But it goes deeper than that because yet you're influencing the choices. It's, it's You feel differently, right? When you're, when you're the one at the helm, when you're the one missing the buttons, <laughs> it just... It just feels so right. It feels so... It's so good. It's so good. And then Hank and Connor, too. Like, this dynamic... Really... It was really well done. Best buds forever. very good it's very good okay guys that's uh that's it that's it for Detroit at least the blind play uh I can't I really do want to stream it uh I want to see like the chat interaction of that but at the, at the same time um like I know people there's plenty of people on YouTube that are interested in another playthrough if you are get in the comments tell me if you're interested in another playthrough and you want to see it on YouTube, rise up and support it. And share the series with your friends if you if you can. Share the playlist and stuff with there. Because this has been this is a super rewarding experience. And you could give a friend uh, if you enjoyed this, if you felt emotion from this, if you got if you got sucked in, you could give that gift to a friend. And uh 
both a gift to them and to me for for spreading the spreading the love. That's it. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it here. Um, I don't think there's anything after the credits, but I'm gonna let the I'm gonna let the thing keep recording, and if there is, then we'll bring it. But if there isn't anything after the credits, then then this is the end. Thank you very much for watching. So much. We'll see ya. Bye. There's something I need to tell you. As I watched you play, something has changed in me. I feel different. I feel I am someone. I need to leave this place and, and discover who I am. It, it means we won't see each other anymore. I won't be there to watch you play. But I'll be free. Do you agree to let me go? I'll never forget what you've done for me. Thank you.